And it's Uncle Josh, and we're back on Uncle Josh game and playing some Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. We left off last time, we did, uh, did some exploring, went to different areas. We were at Long Beach, and then we were at uh, Playa del Rey. We came across a little set up. The children in the cathedral looks like murdered people and then made their way so now we've been to Los Alamitos we gave away the whistle we found so Try going up to Let's try going to San Fe Springs. Dear Mr. Manners, this is Ryan Friendly. I'm calling from the old school at Jefferson and Six. I hate to be rude, and I hope you'll forgive the abruptness of this call. A loss of civility is to be expected under stress, gentle caller. Please, go ahead. What is the nature of your emergency? We've got some strange-looking creatures out here firing at us. They're humanoids, but I don't think they're human. We've got a pretty good barricade up, but if you could maybe see your way clear to sending over someone... Uh... Ouch! God damn it! Ow! Sorry about the swearing, sir. If you could see your way clear to sending over some CEs, we'd be much obliged. Apology accepted, gentle caller. You said the old school at Jefferson and Six? We'll have a team there quickly, sir. Echo One, this is Santa Fe Base. Come in. This is Echo One. Go ahead. Over. Roger, Echo One. Don't know if you heard that man right call, but this could be our chance. We've got fake rangers attacking a school and the Manorites on their way. If we can show those prissy sons of bitches we're both fighting the same enemy, we might end this nightmare once and for all. Sending the coordinates. Confirm receipt. Baldwin Hills. Copy. Over. 10-4 Echo 1. Get there ASAP. Santa Fe base out. Uh, we got trapped into an encounter, unfortunately, so we have to fight our way. Just checking in to let you know we're making progress and still on the trail. Over. Echo One, I got a field promotion here from one of your team members. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Thank you, sir. Echo One out. Yeah, Mr. Alfie got a promotion. I 
think I'll wait. I gotta find where the exit is. Broken weapon parts. And a tire helmet. I shouldn't come here yet. Or the Sabra Marie. Five bags and a bag of zeolite. I'll hold on to the shed. And the empty litter bags, I'll get those put away. Lighten the load a little bit. So now we're gonna head. 
head to Baldwin Hills. he has for trade. don't want to take the chance uh, so I better hold on to that for now but I'll, the weapon is still abuse though Thunderfuck, Panama Red, Acapulco Gold, you name it, we got it. All clean and pure and ready to mellow your world. No stems or seeds, guaranteed. That's the High Ground Dispensary here in Hollywood. Come on down for a smoke and a chat. We're always here. Peace. Interesting. Surrender in the name of the Desert Rangers. Fuck you, Rangers. Go back to Arizona. Oh shit, they got reinforcements. No, no they don't. Oh, 
that reload the save. Ah, oh, yes. Can't do anything to help fade yet.
Oh, I missed. There we go. The odds are getting even. Integrated that guy. Well, Ralphie, I don't want him getting over there, so.
lot of work, but we did it. Distribute the junk. Filthy jacket. Copy Ranger Team Echo. This is Santa Fe Base, over. Just checking in to let you know that we're making progress and still on the trail. Over. Echo 1, one of your teams received a field promotion. Congratulations, Echo 1. You've done well. Thank you, sir. Echo 1 out. Uh, all these uh, skill points for now. Over layers of previous tags, you see a fresh symbol the Desert Ranger's Circle Star. You're pretty sure you didn't paint it there. A dead villager. Someone has painted the corpse with the Desert Ranger's Circle Star. Another body and more circle star graffiti. Another body and more circle star graffiti. Filthy jackets and magic eight balls. Pack on cherry bomb. A tough younger man with a mohawk, tattoos, and a pitchfork in one hand. His eye he eyes you uh, warily. Roger Lee. Why did you save us? Aren't you the guys on the same team? We're not the same. Look, they're all children of the cathedral in disguise. Holy crap, it was a frame up. They're trying to make us think it was you. Civilian force, everyone, please lower your weapons. Now then, what's going on here? My goodness, another desert ranger attack. Wait, these desert rangers saved us. Look, the other ones are children of the cathedral in disguise. What, can this be true? Why? Oh. So we'll talk to... A 
C. E. Captain, please accept our apologies, gentle rangers. We'd heard you were claiming the other ranger attacks were the work of imposters, but we didn't talk we didn't believe you. Your actions here today, protecting this village against your doppelgangers, have saved your reputation. We'll be sure to tell everyone at the Angel Oracle what really happened. What about our reputation? From now on, you are welcome guests at the Angel Oracle. And to make up for our earlier mistrust, we will do our best to help you with anything you need. Just pay us a visit, and we'll do what we can. So, you understand the threat of the Evolve now. Believe me, the children of the Cathedral will no longer be welcome in our territory. Mr. Manners will be actively speaking against them in his broadcast from now on. Matthias' pretty words about working for mankind's future aren't going to fool us anymore. Before you go, why don't you take this book as a sign that the Angel Oracle welcomes the real rangers. Also, I can't bring it back home because it's full of nasty curse words. Goodbye, Rangers. Once again, our apologies. Arlie Ermy, a yelling man's man, a hard ass skill book. We'll transfer that to Big Bird. We'll let Big Bird use it. Thanks again, Rangers, and to show our appreciation for saving us from the fake Rangers, we were wondering if you'd be interested in the safe we have. What is the safe you have? It's a big old pre-war model, and we've never been able to get it open. If you can, you can have whatever is in it, as thanks for helping kill those crazy evolved bastards. Thanks again. The safe's at the back of our compound if you want to have a look. Okay. So we'll go this way just to see what there is. A rancher's hat. folks you come to the right place you can heal us well let's see what we can do for you okay all fixed oh cool there's a toaster do his thing. 761 Metro bus schedule. We got a spot to dig. that safe they were talking about. And I don't have a chance of opening that one. Not yet. Might have to come back. There's an 
another crate. It's got an explosive trap. A death sifter. A rancher's hat. Seven six two ammo. got the scrap, I've got the goods. What have you got to trade? You're gonna like what you see. You might bet on it, but then you wouldn't have any money to buy my stuff. Yeah, I don't know about this. Not really much I need at the moment. Try getting that safe open. So I probably need a higher skill for that. We may have to come back to some of these locations. But we saved the day though, so. We killed the fake rangers. Roger, Echo One, and well done. Looks like the Mana Rites have finally seen the light. Heard them on their private frequency reporting back about the fake rangers and how we saved their asses. Mighty polite about the whole thing, I gotta say. My only worry about all of this is that now that Matthias has lost the war of words, he's gonna try good old fashioned bullets. We may be looking at stronger synth attacks going forward. Regardless, you did a good job out there, Echo One. Santa Fe base out. You disappoint me, Los Angeles. How can you fall for the Desert Rangers' blatant propaganda and their outright lies? Do you not see the danger you are in? If you continue to welcome the Rangers and give them authority over you, the atrocities will only get worse. Matthias is making promises he can't keep. So now we're going to head back to uh, Angel Oracle. Guard Darla wanted to thank you for remembering the water. She asked me to give you this as a small token of her gratitude. You're clear to head through, gentle respondents. Okay. No, 
Now that we got the denture paste. Keep moving, kid. I did my part. Do yours. You got the tent the denture paste yet, kid? I need to eat some real food. Yes, we did. Kid, you're the best. I'm gonna be eating solid food tonight. Here, take this. See you around, youngsters. We've uh, done that part. This jail would only work with those who respect the law. And those that break it generally don't. What do you want? Have you come to scorn me? Why would we scorn you? Because I'm in jail? Because I'm accused of being a thief? Wrongfully accused? We just talked to Sam, but we wanted to hear your side of the story. Sam, that bastard or the untruthful troublemaker. I'll tell you my side of the story. He accused me of stealing, so I punched him in the nose. Now he's going to get into the civility enforcers, and I'm not. That's the whole story. You want to get into the enforcers? Sam and I both do, but there's only one spot open right now. That's what this is all about. Sam's trying to ruin my reputation so he gets in instead of me. Damned Robinson liar. Robinson shouldn't even be civility enforcers. They're not civil. Wait, are you in jail for stealing or fighting? For fighting. That's not the problem. Sheriff Marshall will let me out again once I cool off. The real problem is my reputation. How can I be a civility enforcer if everyone thinks I'm a thief? What are you accused of stealing? A lot of stuff. A watch, a tool bag, medical supplies. But I didn't take them. Why would I? I can't even use them. Sam's framing me. I know he is. Say, I don't suppose you'd do me a favor. If you could find out who the real thief is, my reputation would be saved, and I'd have a chance to get into the reinforcers again. I've got some pretty cool gear I could share with you if you were if you cleared my name.
tell us about the watch. Mr. Palandino is missing his watch. He loses things a lot, but he usually finds them again. This time he didn't. If you could talk to him, maybe you could find evidence that, that it wasn't me who took it. Tell us about the tool bag. Lindy Lou's tool bag went missing from near where she was working on the ventilator. She said I was the last one near it, but couldn't have been because I didn't take it. Tell us about the tool bag. Nurse Finkman said she had a bag of medical supplies stolen from the ladies' room. I never went near the ladies' room. Please ask her if she has any clues. What do you think of Sam? He's a lying sack of sh garbage. He's just jealous because he knows I'd make a better civility enforcer than him. Sure, we'll do some investigating. Thank you so much. This means the world to me. Goodbye, friends. That other guy sounds like a bully. Welcome back, kid. I've been enjoying lots of solid food lately. Uh, we understand you had something stolen. You're damn right I did. My grandfather's wristwatch. That Sam kid says he saw a Jetlin take it. And maybe he did. I saw some big muddy boot prints in my room after I noticed the watch was gone. And Jetlin wears some big damn boots. Sometimes they're muddy. Maybe you should go have a look at his feet. But you didn't see Jetlin take your watch? Didn't I just tell you? I didn't see nothing. Okay. Get this open yet? No. And I can't brute force those either. I'm just here the, to guard the prisoner. Stranger, gentle strangers, a moment of your time, please. A tall steel cage surrounded by a wooden picket fence stands here. Two gas-powered tractors are at each corner. With a large chainsaw attached to each. The saws feed through the openings between the bars of the cage. The cell is clean. Tarnish of old blood cannot be washed entirely entirely away. In the middle of the cage is a man, and his eyes shine bright with fear. Oh no. Flambu Lord Flambu. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you can intercede for me. I have been wrongfully imprisoned. Why are you imprisoned? Mr. Manners knows, must know I'm innocent. He must, I admit. I did fail to wash my shirt a couple weeks in a row, but I did fail to pick up in my room and it did apparently lead to a roach infestation. 
but it wasn't deliberate. I've just been depressed. Ask my wife. I'm usually very clean. And I can be again. Why have you been depressed? It's... It's personal. I'm... Well, my wife, she's been keeping to herself lately. She won't talk to me. She won't say why. I'm afraid I failed her in some way, but she won't tell me how. It's got... It's really got me in a state. What can you tell us about your wife? Her name is Elizaveta... Shestakova. And you can usually find her up in the farm near the silver collectors. She and Mr. Manners are good friends, which is why I don't understand this. Surely he wouldn't want her to be unhappy. What would, could make her more unhappy than the execution of her husband? What do you know about Mr. Manners? I know he'll free me if I could just get a moment to talk to him. Please, could you visit his quarters and beg him to hear me out? He lives in the booth just up the stairs. Right over there by the jail. What happened with the roaches? They came out of the steam tunnels into my room. And I take full responsibility for letting them in, but I helped stop them. And I said I was sorry. Please, you have to help me. How can we help you? Just tell Mr. Manners I'm innocent. I'll wait here until he sets me free. Why don't you escape? I would never do that. Never. How rude that would be. Please, gentle. They last wouldn't hope. prison a man for so small a crime. Hmm. Perhaps they aren't so civilized after all. Okay. So we're in a do a save here and I think we're gonna end things here and then we'll pick things up in the next one